total total of five plays in their opening drives and a couple of scores. You think these Buckeyes are ready? Whoa. No doubt about it. So Indiana will get another opportunity. And they'll start. Oh my goodness. Reese Taylor gets clobbered. What a tackle on special teams. That's Josh Proctor. Josh Proctor says, I got my business socks on. Take a listen to this. Is Alabama on second and eight Gatewood to throw against the three-man rush. Incomplete off of Ali's hands. And he got laid out by Christian Harris. You got a guy driving on that route from out in front. You got to move on. Now they got to run it or throw a screen. Agram hands off to Walker, has room up the middle across the 35 before he's eventually planted. Kind of feel the momentum a little bit here. That sack uh, excited the FIU. Otherwise, it's going to be a long field goal attempt for Biscardi. See, look how much cushion these guys are giving right here, right to the sticks. Option pitch late. Good decision. But to have to come up here on the edge. Boy, I think right there. Spots Navarro delivers a perfect ball. Mm. Good stop. Damian Daniels. 340 pounds of Damian Daniels fighting through the blocks. Laying the wood on that one. Nate, where is Holloman at? I haven't seen him since the first couple drives, man. The guy was playing well, and he hasn't been targeted here in the past couple, two, three drives. Tinsley bottled up immediately and slammed to the ground by the onrushing Daniel Jackson. If anything, Jackson was blocked in the back by Matthew Smith on kick coverage for Western Kentucky, and that just propelled him even harder into Tinsley. Seamus O'Kelly's on to punt. And what a hit! Blown up is Rashad Paul, but we have a flag on the play. I think that's a great football play there. Illegal block in the back. Okay. Return team, number 89. They have the distance to the goal. Because he's getting in between them with his quickness. He would fit right in here with some of the B-backs. You're talking about guys like Buchanan. And that gets in the pressure comes. And getting the play done is Raymond Johnson. Well, I told you that he was an NFL prospect. Watch how explosive he is. He splits him as well. Wow. Play clock winding down. Four seconds left. They've already run out of time once with Gatewood at quarterback. Pressure on him. Dumps it over the middle again and a big knock. It's Helms, a sophomore from DeMatho with the hit on an incompletion. When you don't have the threat of throwing the football over the top, is Kentucky a zero threat of that right now? And trying to get this offense into the rhythm that it showed last week and putting up 38 points against FAU. Hit down, fumble out, and recovered by UMass. Left like a sitting duck. They try to run a two-way go. And at the end of the day, he has to feel that as a quarterback. That has to be more natural for him. So when you don't do that, you know you have screens, you can get blasted, and that can be a bad result for the play. Hey! So it's our motions out strong is leveled as he let go of the ball and it's almost intercepted in the end zone. He put a shot on him just as he was letting go of the ball. Nobody blocked him, got him right in the ribs, clean tackle. He's a middle linebacker that has to be picked up. That's that's either a hot on the quarterback. Well, McNulty sends one down and it'll be picked up back there by Terry on Stewart. Almost got a face mask. No! Oh, and then he is smoked. What a shot delivered there by Sean Dolak. Delivered right here. You can even hear. Oh. Tyler has it. Tyler blown up. Raynard Ellis has played a game today. He's ready for that quarterback zone. Pete Peyton Reader can't get up on him, and he comes right off. J.B. Hunter's block. Watch 36's eyes. Reader can't get up to him. Comes right off the McCleary block. We saw T.K. Wilkerson running hard. Then Eric Prince. You've got an opportunity as the blitz comes off the edge. What a hit in individual effort. Making Clark. I'm going to watch right here at the top of the screen. 
Defensive back lined up in the hole, ready to go, and just times it up perfectly, like you said at the snap. Making Clark coming downhill that nickel spot. And again, because you can afford to play a single high safety to allow him to come down there, coverage roll the man up on the outside. And the shots there make the play. Receiver's got to make the catch. You just got to do it one play at a time and make sure that you're just staying ahead of the chains and doing all you can to make that play the best play. Maybe it's a throwaway. Or maybe it's a... James is planted. Credit to uh, Tyson Helton and uh, the rest of that coaching staff for Western Kentucky, especially Andy LaRusso, the special teams coach. Michigan backs up on the penalty against Eubanks. The throw, oh, and McNamara put it on the chest of Eric All, but Avery Young put his head on the chest of Eric All and dislodges the ball, incomplete pass. As Avery Young does everything right. He leads with the shoulder and goes for the numbers of All. See that right into the numbers. Back in the day, the player would have launched into his head area. And using tempo. Here's the screen. Cruz belted down, and the pass falls incomplete. Dropping the head and striking with the crown of the helmet. That looks like a picture-perfect form tackle to me. On a defenseless player above the shoulders and the head and neck. No I think it's Good arm strength from Trey Hall. No two timeouts, clock moves, and Hall is blown up. George Silvanic, hello. Hall felt that one, too. Here comes Big George on the little bit of a dog that ran inside, and New Mexico doesn't pick it up. And yeah, we're a little ticked off. We want to remind everyone tomorrow why the Sun Belt Championship goes through Boone, North Carolina. And we have a sack fumble. The ball's on the ground. For App State, Gunter coming in and throwing his weight around. Well, Miller Gibbs nearly has it twice, and then thankfully he knocks it over to Christian Wells, number 16. Watch 81. 81's going to come from the backside. He, he, he's, I think he's trying to pick it up and run with it. Put together back-to-back -to -back wins. We're underway here in Nebraska. It's Brown from his own end zone. And I'll end it. Took a lick at the 15. Kirby Joseph takes the knee out. Boy, and Brown didn't see that one coming. Those kind of surprised you. Good job hanging on to the ball right there by Alante Brown. Gain of six on the last play. Second oh, down and four. Yeah. Penix to let it fly once again. Underneath. Ball caught. Watt failure. But he drops it. Are they calling this a catch? It's recovered by Ohio State. He got all the way to the ground before it comes out. I'm not so sure. First of all, boy, there's Browning with the big hit. And you see, it's definitely coming loose before he hits the ground. And they are doing a solid job here to push FAU into another third and plenty. Posey. Looping it forward. Complete and then knock the jar. They'll rule it incomplete. You know Posey's going to keep the play alive, and you got to continue to run and, and find your guy. But what a devastating hit with separating the ball from the man. This is what, if I'm Coach Bell, I'm excited on that sideline right now. 13 and 3 at home all time against the Lobos. And New Mexico has come close. In each of their last two games, a muff kickoff right off the hop here will set them back inside their own 10-yard line. That's the thing. That's the most impressive part. On third and five. Hill gets knocked down a sack. The Martez Manuel going to blitz right off the edge. There was one of those interceptions was a line drive throw picked off by the linebacker Christian Bell. Two, the other two were... Balls that floated in the air. And I, I felt this one up here. This is a nice hit. Bang. Penix. Underneath, slings it again. Ellis dropped the football. Bear Browning picks it up. Browning all the way up to the 25. As he kind of slings it around, and then the ball just starts to come loose right before Pete Warner goes in for the tackle, and their Browning is the previous for the pickup. The further review, the ruin on the field was reception with a fumble recovered by the defense. And it wasn't even contacted by Browning with that last look. I mean, I was steaming after seeing that call. <laughs> Glad you calmed down for this good game as Griffin gets hit as he throws, and it's picked off by Oregon. Down the sideline it goes, and it is 
A touchdown for Jordan Happel. He sends Oregon to the lead. An amazing last play as Dorless got in the face of Griffin. See, it's a game of inches.